Okay, let's try and remember how we find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a 2x2 two two matrix. What we first do is that we take the difference between the original matrix and the product of the identity matrix times the eigenvalues. We take the determinant of this resulting matrix, and that is what is known as the characteristic equation. We set that equal to zero, and since we have a 2x2 two two matrix, we're going to have a quadratic equation, which we can solve for and find two roots, which are the eigenvalues. Next, we have to remember that the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors satisfy this relationship with the original matrix, and therefore we can work out what the relationship between the components of the eigenvector has to be for each separate eigenvalue. And we remember that any eigenvector that we find can be multiplied by a scalar multiple and still satisfy the original equation. So do you have any questions? Okay, but is there like some sort of two-line shortcut that can be used in every possible case so I can just remember how to do that instead of, you know, actually having to learn? Um, not really. You kind of need to take a very systematic approach and really understand it if you really hope to get an A on this exam. Whoa, who said anything about getting an A, bro? Everyone in engineering knows C's get degrees. <sighs> I have an IQ 150. This is so beneath me. <laughs> 150? Bro, I can bench 250 easy with both hands tied behind my back. Bench? What are you- No, I'm talking about intelligence quotient, you idiot! And bench pressing with your hands tied behind your back doesn't even make any sense. Well, it'll make more sense than you will after you graduate. What are you going to do with a physics degree anyway? I've got a $200,000 starting salary job lined up after I get my engineering degree. Oh, good to know that a company is willing to pay that much for you to cause a bridge to collapse or a plane to crash. And if you must know, I'm going to become a professor one day. I'm going to unite quantum mechanics and general relativity and I'm going to win the Nobel Prize. Thank you very much. Whatever, bro. Are we almost done here? I gotta rush for Alpha Beta Gamma tonight. Wait. You've read the Alpha Beta Gamma paper regarding the chemical abundances of certain elements in the early universe following the Big Bang? What? Did, did you even just speak English right now? No, bro, it's a fraternity, you know, like Greek life? Ever heard of it? Well, as a physics major, I'm kind of in Greek life too because of all the equations using Greek symbols, you know? I don't get it. <sighs> Look, despite our argument earlier, I still want to help you. You're trying to become an engineer. Definitely not as cool as becoming a physicist, but still a very important job nonetheless. You're going to have to apply these concepts we're learning in class to solve real-world problems that will have real-world consequences. The C's get degrees mentality may get you a degree, but you'll leave here without developing the necessary problem-solving skills that you'll need in your job as an engineer. The lives of thousands, maybe even millions of people will depend on the level of care and effort you're going to put into your work as an engineer, and I think if you just applied yourself a little bit more, you can really make a difference in this world. So what do you say? Uh, so are you telling me that there definitely isn't a shortcut to that math problem? Yeah, the future is doomed.